What? You want me to film a video, don't you? Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to The Average. Today we are filming a travel vlog haul. So I've been a bit quiet lately and that is because we have been traveling. I'm gonna insert some clips of that in here now. So enjoy that, it's about a minute long. So if you don't wanna see all the exotic lands that we've been to, then fast forward, but yeah. <laughs> is that we went to this store called Art Friend and we were really blown away. This shop was in Singapore and it was absolutely massive and it had absolutely everything that you wanted to buy in there, including loads and loads of stuff that I bought. So I'm gonna go through the stuff with you and show you what I got and hopefully it'll be cool. So first of all, I got this Watson White, what? <laughs> Watson White Watson? Watson White Watson watercolour sketchbook and yeah I'm gonna use that it looks pretty nice it's got a nice pearlescent sheen to it which is pretty cool so we're gonna see how that is I've got 15 sheets and it just looked pretty nice so that's my first my first thing next I got this I got some other stuff as well from this shop called NBC stationery and gifts actually in Singapore there was like so many shops it was ridiculous I always wanted some of these Gansai Tambi gold watercolors and I think they're amazing well what from what I've seen I haven't actually used them before but I needed to get some when I saw this these were 19 Singaporean dollars, which is about 10 pounds and probably like eight eight dollars US, which is quite cheap actually I think so. Yeah. Oh I got these pencil extenders because sometimes you need it You need to extend your pencils when they run out and that always happens to me and I've always wanted some of these These were five Singaporean dollars, which is like two pounds ridiculous. I also got these little post-it notes that are from Spirited Away they are just super cute and I had to get them because Spirit Away is my favourite film and yeah that's some little post-it notes I also got this really cool looking um, sharpener looking forward to using that what else did I get you may ask well I got loads of pens so not pens some washi tape I got this Dr PH Dr. PH? Dr. PH Martin's White Pen Technical Ink, which I think is super opaque, which will be awesome to use over watercolors and things like that. I also got some watercolor brushes because I have never um, really bought proper brushes for myself. I always steal Chris's um, Warhammer brushes and ruin them, so he'll be glad to know that I'm gonna be ruining my own brushes from now on. But four different brushes. I like the round kind of ones, which will be nice. Those will be nice to use because I have my own my own brushes now, <laughs> which makes sense. The thing that I'm most excited about watercolors because they had Schminke watercolors, which I'm super excited to try out because I've been wanting Schminke watercolors for. 
and now I've got them. The only problem was that they only had a few colours left of the small ones of Schmincke and I didn't want to bankrupt myself. So I only got the primary colours and I also got a green as a little extra because I thought, you know, why not just get a green, use a lot of green. Because, you know, if you have the primary colours, you can create whatever colour you want, technically, you know, within reason. So I think that's probably just the best way to go forward, test them out with these primary colours. And then instead of my usual student grade Winsor & Newton, I branched out and got these professional grade ones, which are supposed to be kind of top-notch, top-tier ones. They're the ones that are more expensive and they're supposed to be more like the real pigment that they use rather than watered down ones, that's the difference. Also I got this little cheapy sort of watercolour palette and I'm going to make my own watercolour personalised watercolour set using these colours that I like, these sort of pastel colours and then also using the Schminke colours and mixing my own and seeing what I like and just messing around with it and having fun with it. I also got loads of washi tapes because I saw that thing going round of people using lots of washi tapes in the art and I was thinking maybe that's something I can use in the future but also I do like a good washi tape to hold down my watercolour paper because when you tear it up it doesn't tear away the paper. I got these Kurotaki inks because I was really excited to find them because I've heard um, an artist talk about these before, they're called mica and there's a gold mica one which I was excited about, I was like yes these will be good, they're water based so they'll work with watercolours but then I picked up these ones and I thought they were black but they're actually silver and that's what you get when you go crazy and just go and buy things in an art shop and lose your, your goddamn mind. I got some grinding ink and a grinding stone because I've used grinding ink before but I never had the grinding stone to go in it. So basically what you do is you get this and you put a little bit of water and you grind it up and you get some nice ink. And I thought that'd be fun to play around with because it was super cheap so it's worth having a little play around with. Because that's what we like doing on this channel, isn't it? We like playing around with stuff. Yikes! What's up next in my bag of goodies? I got these Sakura Pigma brush pens because I really like these pens and they are multicolored. So I thought I'd give that a shot because they work with watercolors and don't bleed. And finally, I love these pencils, but where I live, you can't get them. And I've always tried to order them on Amazon, but they've always been extortionately expensive or just take loads of time to get here from like the USA or something. So these are Prismacolor Color Col Arrays pencils. And I got an array of colors because I just love using them. They're just really nice, soft colored pencils that you can rub out. And I think they look really good. Um, as an underlayer, so if you're drawing your pencil and then you do watercolour on top, they look quite nice. I think I went a bit overboard, but then again, where I live, I don't really have the chance to get art supplies like this um, by myself. I obviously can order stuff online, but I never get the chance to just go to a shop and pick something up and choose and handle it with my own hands. So that is why I bought so much stuff. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I decided to film the next half of the video that you will see next week where I'm testing out these art supplies and I'm going to be comparing Schmincke and Winsor & Newton professional grade watercolours which will be quite fun. So tune in next week. Thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe for more content and I will see you next time. Bye! Take 50. No, <laughs> You don't have to eat them all. You can have one they don't eat, you know. Mm. What about? Of course I have to eat them all. <laughs>